Hi, welcome back to Rock Rehab. We're playing another game of the Crawler Battles today. Um, we'll kind of go over the roles as uh, we play it. It seems to be a little easier to introduce the game what, as you watch and play. Um, but basically, it's follow the leader with points. Uh, today, I just have the base Red Cat. No upgrades besides the tires and wheels, and I got a little rope on there just for the fun of it. Today, I'm running my tarantula. You guys have seen it a hundred times. You know exactly what's in it. Sweet. Well, let's go have fun. Let's do it. Good luck. Oh yeah, let's decide who goes first. Good old game of rock, paper, scissors. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Well, Junior gets lead. The, Yep, he starts with the leader counts. So, Junior had the leader count, so he gets to pick the first course. So, he didn't get to try it first. That's part of the rules is you got to find it and put the cones down, and then you can try it. So you're going to have to start here and go up here. We're adding in a new piece. Um, so... We have this boundary stick. The leader has the option of putting down a stick. Um, the idea of it is you can't go past that, so I couldn't come out here and turn around this way and then go up it because of the stick. Um, just one extra spot if you see a line that uh, your follower might want to take. That way you can block it and make him take the course that you have in your head. So I put that stick there so he can't turn around right here and then go up this way. All right, let's see if I can do it. So if he doesn't make this, then I'll have the option of trying it, but he'll lead, lose leader. You got the cone. I got the cone. <laughs> oh, shoot. So, so that does mean that I lost that line. So now I have an option. I can either try and take it, and if I make it, I get a bonus of three in the leadership. Um, but if I don't make it and I attempt it, then I will lose one and not get leadership. But I don't think that this stock little red cat's going up that, so I'm not going to take it. So Junior will lose one point, and I'll get the leader counts. That puts us at one, or negative one to zip. Negative one to zero. All right. I'll pick up the cones and we'll find another spot. All right, so I found another little challenge here. Um, normally I try and pick courses for what I think the opponent can't do and mine can, but honestly, I'm so stuck and he's so upgraded. I'm not sure what to do, but I found this guy. We'll try it out. Just go up there and up this little incline. See if we can make it up these steps or not. Okay, let's see if I can do it. If you even touch the cones, then you're out. I don't know if I can even do it. I may have bit off more than I can chew here. I don't think I can even do that with that ledge right there at the bottom. And since I've started going through the cones, I can't leave them again, but I can back up as long as I don't back up all the way out of them. I got your good stick. I haven't even chewed them You gonna make it? I don't think I am. Nope. Okay, so now Junior's got the choice of uh, if he wants to try it for a bonus three, but if he fails, he gets minus one, or if he's just going to take the leader. Just for the fun of it, I think I'm going to try it, but I don't want to take it for points. <laughs> if you're good with that. What I'm do you mean? Are you taking it. it or not? I'm not going to take the bonus. Okay. But 
Yeah. I want to try it for fun. Okay, see let, let, let's out. see out if you're miss, see if you're missing out on points or not. He got the cone off the bat. Oh, did I? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. These tires would just dig deep holes right there. Can you get your left tire right here without hitting that cone? Come look on this side. Yeah, I know the big old hole. No, the tire is completely, it dug a deep hole as deep yeah. as the tire did. So, no, nope, uh, I'm glad I didn't take that because I definitely would have lost that one. Well, the Cones of Leadership are juniors. And that puts him at negative one for losing the last one. And me at negative one for losing this one. Let's see what Junior finds next. All right, so here we go. This is the one I picked. Just really short and sweet, but it's got a really bad overhang here that could prove very difficult. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can make it. Oh, it's hard just getting your front tires up that ledge as your back tires are trying to go up the ledge. Oh, just barely. You're real close to this back cone. Yeah, that's a, that's a steep climb. And I have no center clearance, so. Oh. I knocked the camera home. <laughs> Whoops. Keep going. No, oh, oh, slid over just barely. I got that one, but that one was a rough one. Let's see if the Red Cat does any better. It's got bit more center clearance. And I think it's a little shorter. Hopefully it'll help me with this a little bit. It is a little shorter. It looks like you're climbing up that ledge a little easier than I did. Got these new DJ Crawler tires on it that I have been loving. Ooh, that was nice. They're 68 millimeters, almost 70. But honestly, they look a lot like the 70s do on it. This is going to be the bad part about having a little bit shorter of a wheelbase. Yep. It hurts on the climb. That is really stinking steep and I don't have any extra front weight. You can pull yourself up there back to the... Oh, oh, oh got the cone. <laughs> well, <laughs> that is a point for Junior, so he's back at zero. I'm at negative one. And the cones are still his. He made it up at his leader, so he keeps them. Let's see what we can find next. All right, so here's what he's found. You go down that, through that little ravine, and then up that gnarly edge. And it's going to have to be a little bit of a corner there to get through it. Got his ba boundary stick down. Well, this is not going to be easy. He's picked quite the course for us this time. Yeah, it's not going to be easy for either one of us. This overhang, that's going to be a real trick. Well, let's see if you can do it, Junior. I love watching those tires fold. I love those tires and I hate those tires. I'm so conflicted with them. Going up that pretty good. Is he going to be able to get his back tire up? Yep. Wow. I'm not sure if my back tires are going to be big enough to bridge that gap right there. I can't believe it just did that that good. Yeah, that was... I was really worried about that overhang. I don't know how I didn't get hung up on the bottom. Well, he did it. Now I have to try it. Let's go, you stock little ascent. I believe in you, little guy. I don't have as much motor control either. I wish this was geared a little lower. Oh, I was so close to that cone. 
I didn't take the best line here. If I can get it to turn around to the right a little bit. The good news is, is between those cones, you can still back up and get a better line if you want to. There's plenty of room down there. Yeah, that, giving it a good try and let's see what we can do. So as the rules go between the cones, unlimited backups, you can do anything you want, pick any line you want, as long as you don't go back through the cones or over the boundary line. Trying the same line I went up. Good. Trying. Oh. I don't have that front weight. Those big tires, I think, helped you out a lot here. Yeah. And you're gone. Dang! Nicely done. Nicely done. These stock red catchers, they're crazy what they can do. Dude, that was awesome. I like that line a lot. That was really challenging, and the red cat did it just fine. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm surprised. I didn't think that little guy was going through there, but man, that wasn't so bad. A little bit of moving around, finding the correct line, and honestly, she went right up it. So, since he made it through, and then I made it through after him. That means that I get a point. So I'm at zero and I'm at one. So here we got this big old V to go through. Come out right there. A it little starts bit of on a... this side. Oh, it starts on this side? It starts on this side. Okay, so we're gonna go down through that and back up the other side. Okay, Junior, let's let's see it. How did you want this? No, I don't need that on this round. I think I have you on this one. You think so, do you? I think so. I think I'm getting another point. Oh, you're so close to that cone over there. <laughs> so the start has a really bad overhang. I don't know if you caught that in the video or not. <laughs> you were like two millimeters in that cone. <laughs> that was close. It's testing approach angle like crazy. A decently steep climb with another little overhang right there, another center. Oh, oh wind the wind got took it. that cone. <laughs> Had a bounce through it, but you got it. Let me get lined up here. Show you how an ascent does it. I had the low speed control with this. Oh, you made it over that without any problem, no overhang at all. Yep, and the front clearance is enough with these 68 millimeter tires, that wasn't too big of a problem. You got portal axles to avoid that and plenty of center clearance. Yeah, walked, walked right, right through, through it. That. So that gives me a point since he made it and then I made it through after him, so that puts me at one. And I think we misset it on the last one. He's still at zero. So one to zero. Yep. And he still made it through his own course, so he keeps the leader cones. We'll see what's next. Okay, so he's got an interesting one here. He's using the boundary stick to hold the cone up. <laughs> but just really short, but got to make it through that without touching that cone up on the left. That's going to be pretty hard, honestly. Oh, and he's moving it closer. It's gonna be a challenge getting over that rock right there and onto the other side without hitting that. We'll see if he can do it and when he does, we'll see if I do. Or when I don't. <laughs> I don't know if either one of us are doing this. No, no, it's, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Your front tire is on its side. <laughs> oh. 
Wow. That's pretty crazy looking. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to make that. That was so stinking close. I just don't know if I can flex like that to get through that. I hope you don't make it. Real close to that back cone. <laughs> it looks like you're gonna make it, but that tire is still tipping over. Wiggle your back over a little bit. A little bit of technique. Oh, is it gonna touch? If you would have put that cone a millimeter to the left, you'd have it. Crazy seeing that tire on its side. I don't think I can make it around that. I'm not quite as wide and I don't uh, have as big of tires. So, oh, there it is. There's a chance I make it, but I don't know if I will. Hope we can get that cone back in the thing. So. Was over that far. Yeah, I think I was like right there. So, you do have the option to take the bonus. You don't have to run this one. I don't know. It looks like too much fun. I probably shouldn't. I should probably just take it to see if I'm missing out. But I want to do it. I'm going to take it for the points. I'm probably losing one here. I'm feeling like a betting man all of a sudden. I think if I took that in a better line, I think I would have got it, but that rear tire, I just couldn't get it slid over far enough. I just don't know if I can side hill this enough. That's going to look really cool. The amount of flex that tranche, that how that tire was all the way on the side, that was cool. That was really cool. Oh no. Bonus three. <laughs> Man, that was a crazy cool line right there. I really thought the tarantula was going to have it, but it's just a hair wider and the tires are a hair taller and made it so he couldn't make it through it. But that red cat, I keep saying it and I'll say it again. The, those things are amazing. That's almost stuck and it just went through that. I can't believe it. That was really good. That so, was really good. So that gives me plus three for, for taking the bonus and making it putting me at four points, one more and I win. We normally play till five. You can play it for your higher points if you'd like to. And Junior's at one? One. Yep, so one to four. And I get the leader cones now yep. because he didn't make it through his course. So we'll see what I find. So this is what I got. Starting on this crazy incline right here. Um, my truck actually wouldn't stay there by itself. The drag brake's not strong enough. So he's holding me up right now. <laughs> so start by finishing going up that hill peaches that's my stick no go find your own stick go get your own stick <laughs> will someone throw a stick for her <laughs> peaches. But, uh, we gotta go through this and then oh, wow. up that ledge right there and that's that's uh, over 90 degrees or 180 degrees that yeah that's a, a ledge right there so we'll see if we can make it up the car's barely fit not too much for wiggle room We'll see what we can do. Let's see if the Ascent 18 can do it. This is a pretty challenging line. That's part of the fun of this game is it's more than just testing driver skill. It's testing line picking. Be able to look at something and knowing 
how you can get up it, and if you even can or not. I have a tendency of biting off more than I can chew, and I don't know this machine very well. It doesn't have a ton of front weight, so I'm having a hard time here. I don't know if I'm going to make it through. And that's a fail for the Ascent 18. She's been doing awesome, but didn't make that one. Let's see how Junior does with it. As much as I know I should not go through this, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So he's either going to get a bonus three or a minus one, and I'll keep the lead. If he makes it or doesn't take it, then he would get the lead. Hey, dog, that's not yours. <laughs> I'll throw your stick. You made it up that a lot easier than I did. You gonna make it up this? There's quite, quite the overhang there. Oh, oh, it's so close. It's right there. I mean, it's chewing the sandstone up a little bit. It's going to get harder for him as he goes as he tears that rock away. And this is why I picked this, is because I have center clearance over him. That's pretty much all I have over the tarantula is center clearance. I was hoping to get him on that. I didn't make it through, but if he can't, then that suits me too. Oh, that cone. You got it. All right, so I didn't make it through that, and I picked it, so that's minus one for me. That puts me at three. And Junior just lost a point, and you were at one before? So that puts him back down to zero. We got zero, three, and leader cone stick with me since he tried the bonus and didn't make it through. So here's what I came up with, going for that center clearance again. We got to start over here, make it past those little axle hangers right there. Then over that center clearance, that'll be hard to get over up onto the shelf. Let's see if I bit off more than I can chew again, or if I actually can make it through this one. Use that uh, just to turn here. Oh, that rear is slipping over, don't hit that cone. Make sure I don't hit that front cone. Did I get that cone? Oh no. Oh! <laughs> I thought I was done for. You got lucky there. I didn't hit the cone, did I? Nope. I don't I, think so. I, I couldn't watch it too close. Oh, the wind sure did though. Put that a hair difference so the wind won't grab it as much. That work? Yep. All right, let's see if I can get this one. I'm lucky the train flow won't have the center clearance to do that. The steering angle on that thing's crazy. Those Endora's axles do pretty good. They couldn't make that corner, and I'm shorter than you. Testament to those axles. Oh, there it is. Got the cones. So that puts me back up to four. Okay, so this is what I got here through this crevice and down the other side. Nice and short and sweet. Pretty good challenge. I don't know if either one of us are doing it or not, but one way to find out. Mr. Redcat, let's see how he does. I've been loving these uh, MT tires from DJ Crawler. Uh, if I can pick a line to even get in there. This is what I was telling you, biting off more than I can chew. Oh, and I got it. Well, let's see if Junior goes for it or not. Is that where that was? I think it was right there. Darn it. I want to try that again afterwards, see if I can make it. Fell a little fast and got her. So Junior's going for it. He, he got it. Did I get the cone? He did. <laughs> 
So that's minus one for Junior. Minus one for me. Neither one of us made it. Okay. I really want to get him, so I found another center clearance overhang right there. You gotta go up this little hill and down that little thing. You get your car all the way through the cones. I'm just hoping that this uh, hill isn't honestly too much for the red cat, but I don't think it will be. So it's hopefully easy for me and sucks for Junior. We'll find out. Maybe he's gonna be getting a point. Oh, <laughs> it's too much for the red cat. <laughs> Still got to make the back tires through it, and there we go. All right, red cat made it. Let's see how the triangular does. Don't worry if you don't make it, Junior. I still love the tarantula. He's trying to stay to the right up high. That way this back tire will be a little higher when he goes over that. Hopefully it helps him. That's what it looks like he's thinking. That is... Passenger side tire is lined up right over top of that cone right now. And this is where he gets stuck and slides into a cone. Oh, you're so close to that one. Oh. I, I only had touched it. I think it was dirt. <laughs> no, no, I, no, not got the cone right there. Woo! Right side cone. <laughs> that was a good one. So there we go. I think that puts Riley at five. We'll correct it up in the top left here for you, but I'm pretty sure that puts him at five, and I lost that one. He got me on the center clearance, and that was a good game. That was a good game. I didn't think I stood a chance when I had the Red Cat, honestly, but it's so capable that the tarantula isn't, like, way over top of it. It's Tarantula is definitely more capable, but I kept leadership during most of the game and that allowed me to pick all these center clearance lines that he couldn't make it and I took advantage of what the red cat had. So that was a good game. Well played. I, I love playing the crawler battles. That was a good game, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell us what you like, what you didn't like, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.